to live a bulletproof life is to make the choice to keep your power and to not be in reaction to things that happen to us. To have a bulletproof life is to really be clear that it's your choice to react. It's your choice to give your power away. I never saw it that way. I never imagined that me being mad at somebody or me taking something personal or me being upset about something or me being stressed out that I was giving my power away. We give our energy away when we get upset. And by learning some strategies to not give your energy away and keeping your power, then you're empowered. And then I say you have a bulletproof life. The first thing that's going to allow me to keep my power is my purpose. Living my purpose, knowing what my purpose is. And you have a purpose, and the purpose could be as simple as love. Which, by the way, Viktor Frankl, in his book, and I recommend this book, Man's Search for Meaning, talks about that love is the most powerful purpose we can have. And so when you are grounded in your purpose, you can't be knocked down. Number two is responsibility. But we don't realize that responsibility is also interpretation. Interpretation. How I choose to interpret. I am responsible for my interpretation. For example, if my girlfriend breaks up with me, that's a fact. Where I go with that is an interpretation. If I go to, I can't trust women, I'm worthless, I'm not meant to be in a relationship, it wasn't designed this way, etc., etc., those are interpretations. Or I can look at it from another interpretation if I'm responsible. You know what? Her path has led her into that direction. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting that that's her choice. I respect her choice. I matter. I'm beautiful. I can still trust people. Yeah. This is going to make me stronger. This is an opportunity. This is a gift. You know, it's all how I choose to see it. And based on how you interpret, feelings follow. Then your body reacts to your feelings, and then you interpret that in a negative way. Feelings follow, body interpretation, Actions, yeah. and all of a sudden you have a vicious cycle of reaction. You're in traffic. You could interpret it like you're stressed out, you hate traffic, you hate people, you become a monster. Some people change personalities in traffic, they start <laughs> yeah. screaming, imagining swearing. people, swearing, yeah. and you're a heart attack waiting to happen. Because by reacting, what do I do? Give my power away, which takes me away from a bulletproof life. So when you take responsibility for how you interpret something and how you choose to see something, that shifts your energy, that shifts your joy, that shifts how you approach things. Number three, trust the process. What you're going through is temporary and that what's permanent is how you feel. What's permanent is your attitude. Even if it never changes, even if your health never changes, you can still be joyful. You can still be happy. You can still be blessed. And, and, you have more of a probability of it shifting by shifting your attitude and by trusting your, the process. Because when you don't trust something, you resist it. And when you resist something, we talked about in the resistance episode, you give it the power, you give it the energy. You're giving energy to a negative situation. Fears the expectation that the worst is going to happen. Faith is the knowing that everything is going to work out. Number four is confront whatever is stopping you from a bulletproof life. Don't avoid it. Don't be afraid to confront something. Confront means have the conversation you need to have. Whether it's with yourself, with your spouse, with the people around you. Be willing to tell the truth. When you don't tell the truth, you're in resistance, you're choosing a negative interpretation, and you're not applying the prior principles. And one way to do that tangible, 
Look at your results. Look at your financial results. Results don't your, lie. Results don't lie. Look at the results you have in your friendships, in your relationship, the results with your health, your weight, your body, financial. Take inventory. And one way to take inventory, very simple. On a scale of one to 10, where is my health? Step five is integrity. We take our foot off the gas in keeping our agreements, keeping our word, keeping our promises. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing I've noticed is that the more power people have, the more excuses and the more justifications they have to not honor their word. Integrity is about being whole and complete. It's about being one with what I communicate, what I do, and what I create. Step six. It's expand your comfort zone. Challenging my limiting beliefs. Mm -hmm. Challenging the, I can't do that. I could never do that. that. Oh, that's too big for me. And there's something I read years ago from a friend of mine named Maria Marin, who's a Latina superstar. And she wrote a book called, If You Expect More, You'll Get More. And if you expect little, you get little. So number one, purpose. Number two, responsibility. And interpretation. Right. Number three, trust the process. Number four, confront. Mm -hmm. Number five, integrity. Number six, expand your comfort zone. And number seven, enthusiasm. Live life with passion and enthusiasm and put passion into everything that you do enthusiasm in the breakdowns enthusiasm and the breakthroughs enthusiasm and everything that you do and that enthusiasm is infectious and that's contagious mm -hmm. and people want to be a part of it I think that the first thing that goes out the window when we're in a breakdown or in a situation is our enthusiasm yeah. because our fear kicks in and you know we start having dark conversations